Hi, and welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to talk about this AccuSense NVR together with a normal IPC camera. So a normal camera connected to the NVR in this case, using an AccuSense NVR. First thing you need to know is that we're supporting four channels of AccuSense on an NVR, AccuSense NVR, to a maximum resolution of four megapixels. So we have two limitations, four channels of AccuSense, First limitation, second limitation is that is the 4 megapixel for each channel. Yeah? Let's get inside of the NVR and see how to set this up. Inside of the NVR, we already connected the camera, so this is our starting point. So let's set up the AccuSense from this NVR. First, we go to the system settings. The next thing we need to do is go to event and select smart event. Inside Smart Event, an important setting is the Enabling Smart Analysis. By default this is enabled, but if it's not enabled, then you need to enable this because this is enabling the algorithm to work, the AccuSense algorithm. So this is the first thing you need to check. The second thing you need to do is set up a line crossing or set up an intrusion. You have two options. Today we're going to show you one uh, example, so we're going to use line crossing. To enable line crossing, check mark this one here. And again, some important notice is that if we later on gonna do some playback or search, this is will be the event type. So the event type that we're using is line crossing. And the target classification is over here, is on based on human or vehicles. So if we later, later on going to do some playback or event search, this is important for you to know. Yeah, so again, the line crossing is the event type and the target classification is on human or vehicle. Let's continue. So I selected the line crossing, enabled it. I selected the human in this case. Now I'm ready to uh, draw the area. So I'm drawing an area. Let's take it here in the middle, crossing a line. Uh, I don't need to do anything with maximum and minimum size. Um, it's not of any use. You might use it uh, if you have some trouble, but normally you should not use this. I'm only able capable of doing one line in this case. I can set the direction, as you can see in the arrows on the screen. I choose both directions right now. Another setting we need to do is check mark the sensitivity. The sensitivity normally will be around 50, but you can put it a little bit higher. Around 50 means that 50% of the object needs to cross the line. When I'm putting it higher to 60, or 70 in this case, that means 30% of the image needs to cross the line. Yeah? You can just play around with these settings to get the correct one. After I've done this, we're ready to use it and I can press apply. Let's go to the live image. So inside of the live image, I have target detection. And inside target detection, I can enable the smart detection. And when I'm enabling this, this will prompt a notification on the live screen when the uh, target classification of human occurs. So I ask my colleague right now to cross the line and it should give us a pop-up right now as you can see here. When I click on this I will be able to see the clip immediately. But sometimes and often we would like to see the clip afterwards. So we're not watching the screen all day. So we could go to playback, that will be uh, my first reaction. But from this page, I will only be able to do the event playback. So the event type search. So I can go to custom search, I can go to line crossing, and press search. So all cameras connected to the NVR that is set up for line crossing, I can find the event type right here. So it doesn't mean for the target classification. The target classification will also be here. But the first, let's say the line crossing event, all the line crossing events will be here. Yeah, it's important to understand. If I want to do the target classification, I need to go to file management. Inside file management, as you can see, I have the human files and I can check mark the vehicle files. We set it up line crossing together with the human files, so I can select the time period, the camera, and press search. Now I will only get the line crossing alarms, as you can see right here. 
And here you see my colleague crossing the line again. Yeah. This is all you need to know from the NVR side. So we enable the AccuSense technology, we play back the event type and we play back the target classification search. Now we're going inside of the IV mesh and see what we can do there. Inside of the IV mesh, we already connected the device as you can see right here. So it's there. Um, before I will be able to do some search, let's go to the main page here. This is my live image. On the control panel, let's check the version first. In this case, I'm using version 2.8.22. If you're not using the same version and you want to have the same functionalities, please check on the portal. It's free to download. Um, download the, the latest version and you'll be able to do the same thing as what I'm doing right now. Um, as you can see here, we see uh, all kinds of options that we can choose. So the behavior analysis we can use for the event type that, have that we have spoke about. But I also want to do the target classification search. So I'm not seeing it right here, so I need to enable those models. So here I'm check mark these models. Double check is the vehicle classifications here, human vehicle retrieval and the human body retrieval is check marked. This means I can choose those models inside of the control panel. Um, let's do first the event type search. So behavior analysis, check mark the AccuSense and VR, select the event type. We have set it up the line crossing, search for the date, press search, and you will see the video clip here that is just enabling the event type. Now I would like to search on the human target classification. Because like I said, on the event type I could also have some other events uh, except from the human. I'm going back to the control panel. I'm going for the human body retrieval. Actually, I'm doing the same thing. I'm check marking the NVR. I'm deselecting search by picture. I can set the time period and I press search. I can double click it and play the clip again. As you can see right here. Yeah. Hope that you really like this short video, this short how-to video, how to use the AccuSense and VR together with a normal camera, how to use all this technology. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.